Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you some digital tools that you can use in the classroom. So as you all know, we are all um, on school closure. Everyone is doing online classes and we are going digital or uh, learning how to use technology. And same thing, how are we going to use digital tools in teaching students, especially the students with special needs, in particular, students with learning disabilities? So the digital tools that I'm going to share with you are, some, um, are something available online. And also if you are able to purchase some of them, this would be helpful not only in teaching students with special need, but also the general population. So are you ready? Let's begin. So what is SLD or specific learning disability? This is uh, one of the uh, the disability identified by IDEA, Individual with Disabilities Education Act. Specific learning disability is a disorder in which uh, the psychological process is involved in understanding or using written or spoken language that manifests as problem in listening, thinking, speaking, reading, writing, spelling, or even doing mathematical calculation. So because of the specific learning disability, there is a difficulty in psychological processes or understanding the concepts in learning. And uh, we can say that some of the students with specific learning disabilities, they have difficulty with reading. Some they have difficulty with uh, comprehension and some with listening or even reading and writing and calculating numbers. So let's see what are the digital tools that we can use to address this and help the students understand their lessons better. So there are some tools that uh, most teachers or professionals use to help understand the lesson or to increase understanding of the concept. And as you see in the picture, there are so many, but I'm going to discuss them with you one by one. And by the way, this is not a paid advertisement. This is just something that I would like to um, share with you. And some of these, they have available uh, trials online. You can use them to try. And uh, some are not really costly, like you need to pay some like membership fee for a year and you can use as much as you can already. So let's, let us uh, describe some of these tools one by one. We will begin with Animoto. So what is Animoto? Animoto is a cloud-based video creation service that produces video from photos video clips and music into video slide share or slide shows. So what is Animoto is uh, doing is uh, for teachers to be creative in presenting the lesson. So instead of just telling the concept, you can use pictures, you can use video clips and even music so that uh, students with disabilities or even the students in the general population can understand what you are trying to convey better. And these are some of uh, the pictures available in Animoto. So you can create your own. You can make it like uh, animated or just uh, photo clips, or you can even incorporate music. It's like you can make your own story of the lesson. So the next one is called Audio Note. And you can look in the website uh, under the luminansoftware.com. This is a digital tool wherein you can make a voice recorder. So if let's say um, the students would like to 
to record his story instead of writing. Because I told you, uh, some students, they have difficulties with writing. So instead of writing their story, they can record their stories using um, voice recorder. Or um, they can even use a notepad. Like when you uh, say something, it will write for you. So you can try that. Go to the luminasoftware.com or you can even download their apps and, and try using that, okay? It's called Audio Note. So the next one is the Brain Pop. Brain Pop is a group of educational websites with over 1,000 short animated movies for students from kindergarten to 12th grade. So together with quizzes and related materials covering the subjects of science, social studies, English, math, there's even engineering and technology, health, art, and music. So it is complete. So if you use Brain Pop, you have to find it in the website and you can start using their animated movies. So they are ready to use already. All you need to do is search whatever you need. If you need something for social studies, just search the topic. If you need something for English or math or for arts and music, just type it and it's already available. And it says there, there are over 1000 short animated video that you can use for your instructions. And remember, some of the students are visual learners. It will help them a lot in learning if they have something to see or to view to increase understanding. So that is the brain pop. It's available in the website. And there's always a free trial and there's always free videos. And then if you want more, then you can just subscribe. So the next one is called Cast. UDL Book Builder. So you can find it under the bookbuilder.cas.org. And this digital tool is something that you can use to create your own story. So you can even help your students to create their own story from very simple story to a more complex. So it has pictures, and it has template that you can use and you can create your own book. So like when you are delivering a lesson in social studies, instead of just saying about, let's say um, the history of um, the discovery of, let's say the Philippines. So you can talk about um, how the exploration of the Spaniards came about, but you can use a simple book and simple uh, pictures and even um, some clip art that you can add in your book. So that's the bookbuilder.cast.org. So search for that and try using it. The next one, which is really very helpful uh, for most students that have uh, difficulties with writing or even with uh, like listening is the Dragon Dictation. It is a software called Dragon Speech Recognition Software is better than ever. Talk and your words appear on the screen. So for students that uh, don't know how to write their uh, whatever they're thinking, they can just say it and the Dragon software will write it for them. It will show up on the screen and then they can even copy it from there. So just talk and it will write for you. So that's the Dragon Dictation. It's cool. And um, I remember when I used this for my students with specific learning disabilities and sometimes they're also lazy to write and think of the spelling. This, this, this is a very good tool. Dragon Dictation. So you can search for that and you can even uh, download it in your iPad or any uh, device. The next website that you can use and it's available, it's called Enchanted Learning. 
And that's the website, the www.enchantedlearning.com. So there are so many educational resources that you can use for K-12. to So there are worksheets, there are printable crafts, activities, and there are even lesson plans available there that you can uh, use and, and modify. And there is a subscription fee for this. It's $20 per year. It's about like 1,000 pesos in, in, uh, in the other currency. But um, as I mentioned, if you do not want to subscribe, there are free trials and there are worksheets that are free also. But if you would like to maximize the use of their uh, website for Enchanted Learning, then you can subscribe to it. Okay, so check that out, Enchanted Learning. So the next one, it's called Vocabulary Educational Hip Hop. So it's found on www.vocabulary.com. So by the name itself, it's called Hip Hop. So it means um, it will teach several vocabulary that you can incorporate in your lesson from different subject matters, English, science, math, it says their fractions, and it will show you uh, some lessons. And at the same time, it has music, it has tune that your students can enjoy in a hip hop. And because you know, some uh, learners also, they like to uh, learn with music because they are musical and for them to not get bored, you need to incorporate all of those visuals and music and sounds. So that is the vocabulary and that's the website. So next, and I love this so much, and this is free for everyone. And it has something even beyond 12th grade. So it's not just K to 12, it has also college courses. This one I'm showing you is the, the Khan Academy for kids, but, but there are um, sites also or um, lessons, Khan Academy for all ages from kindergarten to college and it covers all subject areas. This is a um, very good resource and it's available for free go to www.canacademy.org and it is free for everyone. Just use it for all grade level, whether you're teaching elementary, middle school, high school, college, you can use this. So it's canacademy.org. So those are some of the digital tools that I would like to share with you. And there's a lot more. But I want you to try them and let me know how you find uh, them helpful with your lessons in helping students, not just those students with learning disabilities, but all kinds of students in your classroom. Okay, so since up to now, uh, most classes are still online, these are very good resources that you can use. So if you want more, let me know. I can, I, I can give you some examples, more examples and uh, more websites for digital tools in the classroom. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And you can also write your comment down below and let me know what topic uh, you would like me to discuss in the future that you will find helpful for all teachers, okay? So thank you for now and to God be the glory. So bye, see you next time.